welcome back to my channel. I'm Texas Totti, and today we are going to be doing an Ofra Cosmetics makeup haul. This is not the Samantha March collection. I am waiting for that to come in, and I will be coming back and filming that when it does. This is just um, some products that I was shopping around looking for something, you know, and I come across these and I fell in love. Um, I've already done my foundation and my primer. I'm wearing the Water Jelly Primer and the Shoot of Beauty Stick Foundation, and I have mine in the shade Custard. And after we unbox everything, we're going to do a quick little get ready with me. I hope that is something that you would enjoy and if you do enjoy this video please consider giving it a big thumbs up and subscribing to my channel it takes two seconds to do y'all and it would mean the world to me but other than that let's get started okay i'm so excited about this oh by the way i did peek i always peek just being honest okay so this is the box and it came in today and it's not like a big makeup haul. It's just a little bit, but I was really excited about it. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to pull out of here is not makeup, and we're not going to try it on today, but it's definitely something that I can use, and that is the spray hand sanitizer in the Scent Energy, or, I mean, I don't know. It's kind of really, I don't know if it's going to, there we go. I don't know what it smells like yet, and I don't know if I can, it's got this hard plastic cover on it, and I don't have any scissors up here, because I already split open the boxes before I sit down. Okay, so next I have in here a three lip set of Oprah Long Lasting Liquid Lipsticks, and I believe this is the Nikki Tutorials lip set. Okay, I don't know if y'all can hear that or not. My granddaughter is fussy. It's nap time, and she doesn't want to take a nap. <laughs> so, y'all may hear a little bit of crying in the background. Her mom's trying to get her to lay down. But, anyhow, this is the set. And like I said, it is the Ofra X Nikki Tutorials Lip Set. And the colors in here must be written on the tubes because I can't see them. Okay, let's take it out real quick. This is what it looks like. Oh. That's what it looked like. <laughs> okay, we have the Long Lasting Liquid Lip in Spell. And I don't really know how long this collection has been out. I just thought that I, you know, I didn't have any uh, for lip gloss, lipsticks or lip glosses. And I thought, you know what? And so I was just shopping around and I found a few. But I'm going to swatch these for you. I really like this color, though. Okay. So, like I said, this is the one spell. I like that it's like a coral pink color. I will definitely get some wear out of that. Then the next one that we have here is in Coven. Okay, I guess we have like a witchcraft theme here. I did not know that, but that's all right. Okay, in this next one, this is kind of a really darkish brown. I don't know if I would wear a, lips, a lipstick this dark, maybe. It just depends on if I could sheer it out a little bit. There we go. I might wear that as an eye shadow. I don't know if Ofra's lippies are eye safe or not. I will have to look into that. And then this one is called Nude Potion. And this one I know that I will wear because I love the nudes and the pinks and the whatnot. Oh yes, that's very pretty. Okay, and that one is right here. So these two, I know I will get some use out of. Y'all don't mind my nails. I couldn't find the fingernail polish remover earlier to redo them. This one, I'm not so sure. And that is the three that come in the set. We're just going to move those aside. And then I bought one single lippy. And that is the, this one right here. <laughs> um, what is it called? I don't know. It's not on the outside of the package. Okay, this one is called Panama. 
And at first, when I first placed the order, and then I got to looking back at the pictures, I was like, oh no, because these two looked to be the same. And then I got to looking at the names, and I was like, oh hey, good, because I don't remember how much this trilogy was. Let me see if I have my paper here. Okay, so like the three pack of the long lasting liquid lipsticks, there is no prices on here. Never mind. But this single one was 20 bucks, and I don't know what I paid for the three pack. Okay. We're going to put it on the other side of the ground. Oh, I like that. It is a very similar shade to the um, spell, but it's not quite the same. It's more of a Barbie pink, I would think, or maybe even a mauve pink. I don't know. But I'm definitely, I'm definitely digging these colors. I've got little lint thingies on me. <laughs> and I'm definitely going to get some use out of at least three of these and we'll see on the other end. Okay, so let's move those to the side. I only have one more item in here. Okay, two. I think this is really neat. They send you a little hand sanitary wipe. Um, I guess for, you know, when you're opening the package and everything, that is all we have in the box. So we're going to get rid of that. And this is what I actually was more interested in. This is the Mini Mix Palette Secret Garden. It looks a lot like our Mini Mix Palette that we received in BoxyCharm, but of course it's different colors. There's no mirror, but it does say smile. You are beautiful. Very sweet. And then these are our colors. I'm really loving this green right here. It's a perfect match to my shirt today. If y'all can see that or not. And I'm, yeah, I'm really loving the green. And then this purple. And then this mauve shade. So I think the eye look we may do may have like these three colors. Or I may do the green and the blush. I don't know. Let's go over the names though. Um, all right. So starting right here, we have Enigma, Wander, Riddle, then Deep Purple. I may have done that wrong. Okay, let's try it over here. Enigma, Wander, Riddle, Deep Purple. Nope. Scratch that. Okay, I'm going to tell you what is confusing me. This this on here, it says one of the colors is green light, and I thought I was reading it backwards. So I had it right the first time. <laughs> Enigma, Wander, Riddle, Deep Purple. And then underneath the Deep Purple, I have green light. And then over here, it's Tell Me. The highlighter shade is Blissful. And then... The blush is Blossom, and the bronzer is brown. It's just brown. Okay. Um, yeah. So, like I said, it's a very pretty palette. I was originally looking online for sneak peeks of the Samantha March collection when I came across this one, and they didn't have it yet. And um, so, I was actually able to snag that today. Because yesterday, when I got online, it had already sold out within like 10 minutes. But they restocked today, and I don't know if it's still available. Because that was like two or three hours ago, and I haven't looked back on there since I placed my order. But if it is still available, I will drop a link down in the description or in the comments to get you there. And if you use code Samantha, I think it gets you 20% off. I know that Hot Mess also has a code and Paige Corn has a code as well. I don't. So I use Samantha because it's her collaboration and you know, I first heard about it on her channel. So of course I'm going to, you know, use her code, but, and you don't have to use a code at all. I'm just, you know, it saves you 20%. So why not? All right. Anyhow, we're going to get started and we're going to start with the I look so I'm going to hop off here for just a moment I'm gonna prime my eyelids and I'll be right back okay y'all I'm back um, I just primed my eyelids with my Gerard cosmetics and I believe that I have mine in the shade fair but 
it's completely rubbed off the label. I use this every single time I do my eye makeup. I love it. It's wonderful. I highly recommend it. And it lasts like forever. Like I have been using this for months and it literally just takes the tiniest, tiniest amount. So highly recommend this. And I actually use this little e.l.f. eyeshadow brush to put it on. And then I go in with my Morphe um, 535 to just kind of, you know, blend it in a little bit. Obviously, that's not what these two brushes are designed for. But it works great for me. And so that's how I do it. Okay. I'm probably going to fast forward a little bit through the try on portion of the palette just because I tend to um, take a while doing my eye makeup and I don't want to bore y'all with all of that. But I'm going to start out going in with this. I think I'm going to start out going in with this green right here. And I am going to use my Bling Brushes E6. And I'm just going to do along the crease to start out with. Okay, and I really wish that this had a mirror on it because it would make it so much easier. But we're going to try to stay in focus with y'all and use my mirror down here. I just want to sit right in the crease, which is the reason why I'm going in with this band flat brush. And I'll blend it out, obviously, after that. Okay. I'm going to this up. I can't do one at a time. I know I've done that before. You might get ready with me because I'm likely to forget what I did the first time around. So it's just easier for me to do it at the same time. Okay. Now I'm going to go in with my Bling Brushes E21 brush. And I'm just going to buff that in a little bit. I'm not the best at blending, but so y'all just be patient with me, I guess. Oh, and I didn't even go in with a, um, with a transition shade. Oh, well, we'll make it work. Like I said, I don't even know what I'm going to be doing yet. I want to play around with the purples. But since I'm already wearing this green shirt today, I kind of wanted to, and it was just, I mean, it just is a perfect match to my shirt. And that was totally not planned because I didn't know when it was coming in. I hadn't paid close enough attention to the shipping. Okay. I'm also going to go in with, I think I'm going to go in with the brown. Um, it's the bronzer. But I think I'm going to go in with it in the inner corner. I don't know. We'll see. I guess I could have swatched these for you. Oh, I'm going in with my E25 off, also in my Page Corn collection. And I'm just going to kind of add a little bit of brown to that outer corner. And we may come in with a little bit more green. Yet, but I'm going to sweep it over about halfway. Just to kind of blend out the excess. And deepen the green. I'm going to go back to my same brush that I used before. You know what? I love army green and pink together. So I I think I'm going to use the blush and the bronzer with that green. But I will swatch whatever colors for y'all that I don't use. So that y'all can kind of get. Okay, I'm going to add a little bit of that green touch. And just kind of blend those two together in the crease. Okay. All right. All right. That works. Okay. Go over here and do the exact same thing. Bring the green up a little bit more. Okay. Go into the brown again. Oh. I know you're not supposed to hold your eye, but this is my trouble. I always have more trouble putting eyeshadow on this eye. I don't know why, but I do, and so it seems to help me. And I'm just bringing that up into the crease like I did on the last one. Okay. And I'm going to add a little bit more of the green, and just blend those together. Because I'm just using this brown to kind of deepen the color of the green. Y'all, I know I make the funniest faces when I'm doing eye makeup. I've tried. I can't help myself. I just do. Okay. So that's what we've got so far with the green and the brown. I do want to go in. I'm going to go in with my E3. And I'm going to take this shade right here, the Tell Me. It doesn't appear to be a shimmer shade, and I'm really hoping it's not. And I think I'm just going to kind of soften the edges. Oh, it is a shimmer shade. Okay, well, let's make it work. All right. Definitely just watch this beforehand. Definitely, definitely. I just wanted to kind of soften up the green line, and y'all don't like that. I don't like that at all. Ugh. Not going good. 
I don't, I don't like that. It's way too shimmery up there. And that's not what that was going for. Oh no. It's like way too high. What did I do? No, no. No, no. No, it's not what I wanted. Ah, uh, why did I do that? Okay. I don't know. Maybe we can make it work. We gotta do it on the other side, anyhow. <sighs> okay. Dang it. Yeah. Shimmer it up. This is what I get for not swatching colors because really, I mean, I don't know. To me, it doesn't really look like that much of a shimmer in the palette, but it is. I just wanted a soft, like there's no little soft tan in here. So, I mean, that's what I wanted was a soft little tan color. And it's like I brought it all the way up to my eyebrow bone on the other side, but not, or to my eyebrow arch on this side, but not on this side. Okay. <sighs> Y'all. Okay. There it is. All right. So we're going to go in and we're going to do this blush color, which is just called Blossom. And we're going to do that on the inner portion of the eye. I do like this color though. Now, I may need to wet my brush for this because it's not quite giving me the I'm still going to do Okay. So I'm not quite getting the paint off that I wanted. I might do a little bit there. Okay, well, I don't know. It's just makeup, right? I mean, that's what Hot Mess always says. It's just makeup and wash off. Okay. We're going to make this work, I think. We're going to just blend those two together. Less is more, so they say. I don't even know what I did with my... Hold on. I had a little tail on my lap to uh, clean my hands off with. I don't know. What do y'all think? Let me know in the comments. Did I really duck this one up or what? And I said duck. Quack, quack. Duck. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we're going to have to go back in with our finger on this one as well. Okay. I mean, I'm really liking the, uh, this blush shade on the eyes. It's a very pretty pink. I've really been wanting like a soft pastel pink. And I haven't found any that I'm just absolutely in love with yet. Ugh. Let me clean up that up here. Okay. All right. One more time, just right in there. I'm going to just blend the two colors, I think. Okay, see, those are definitely not a match. My daughter always says, remember, Mom, they're sisters, not twins. I want them to be twins. Uh, okay, that's what we got. That's what's going to happen. Um, I am going to hop off here and I'm going to do my, actually, let's, you know what? Let's add a little bit to the bottom. I want to, I want to bring this green down into the bottom just a little bit. Well, move my hair out of the way. No, I am definitely not a professional makeup artist, and I've never claimed to be, so get what you get, and you don't throw a fit. I don't remember what that's off of. One of my kids' cartoons when they were little. But it was one of my daughter's favorite phrases when she was little. Okay. All right. I mean, I don't know what we're doing. We might have to edit a bunch of this out, because right now, y'all, I'm overthinking this, and I can't quit jacking with it, because I really don't know what I'm trying to do, but it's definitely not doing what I want it to do. So we're going to quit jacking with it. I'm, I'm putting them up in the dirty bucket, the dirty brush bucket, and we're going to quit jacking with the eyeshadow. Um, I'm going to go off here. I'm going to clean it up a little bit, do my eyeliner and mascara, and then we'll be back. We will talk about the finished look, and then I will swatch the entire palette for you. Okay, y'all, I am back, and... Um, 
I'm not gonna, even going to lie to y'all. Once I got off camera, I did go back into the eyeshadows, playing around a little bit, trying to get this look a little bit more like something that I was okay with. <laughs> um, I think it turned out all right. Um, I don't know. Let me know what y'all think. It's definitely not what I had planned, but to be honest, I don't really ever have anything planned when I first start playing around with an eyeshadow palette. Sometimes it turns out beautiful and I love it, and other times I'm just like, <laughs> so it is what it is. Um, I went ahead and swatched the colors, and so we will go over them again one more time. This palette is the Mini Mix Palette Secret Garden from Oprah. Oh, for cosmetics, and I have the colors right here swatched, um, and see, this is that, um, lighter shade that I did not realize was a shimmer, but had I done this before I did the eye look, then I would have known, so there you go, okay, now we're going to start right up here, this is the deep purple, and then we have riddle, this is a really dark, Kind of a shift almost seems like it's black almost purple i mean it's just a very deep color then we have wander we have enigma right no deep purple riddle wander that's not enigma where is somehow i messed up Okay, yeah, I totally messed that up. All right. Deep purple. Again, take three. Deep purple. Wander. And then I have the Enigma down. It, it's disappeared <laughs> because I think I swatched right over it. So let me see if I can fix that one really quick. Let's just put Enigma right here. See, it's very fair. See, I mean, it's understandable how I would swatch right over that after doing it. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Where were we? Okay. Then we have the green light. Tell me. This is the one that I did not realize is shimmer. That's the one I was talking about. Okay. Then blossom, which is the one we put on our eyes, but this is the blush blissful which is this really pretty kind of a champagne colored highlighter and then the brown just brown um and like i said i used the colors oh the green light the blossom blush the brown i did use this highlight um in blissful i used it on my inner corners and then i used it on my cheekbones and just a little dab on the tip of my nose and yeah, that is the palette. And then here are the liquid lipsticks again. And I think we're just going to go in with Panama. Panama. And I don't know if I have a lip liner that's going to match this. Um, this is something I should have dug out before I got started. But I'll tell you what, we'll try this house lavatories. Um and this color, um, this color is, it's something, I don't know. <laughs> Let me just line those really quick. Okay. You know what? I'm not very good with lip liners, and then I get aggravated because I always tend to, like, get my foundation off right there. Oh, that's pink. Okay. Well, that lip liner is definitely not a match. That's okay, because I ain't actually going anywhere. Hmm. <laughs> I mean, it looks okay, I think. I don't know. It's pink. I mean, it, I didn't realize it was going to be so pink, but then I guess 
I should have been paying closer attention. We're going to go over it with the light gloss. We're going to use our Stella Patina. Patina, Patina, Patina. I'm going to dull that pink down just a smidge. Oh, yeah, that's definitely a color that I can work with a little better. Okay. See what I mean? I always get, yeah, lipsticks and lip liners are not my forte. I'm a lip gloss kind of girl. But, all right. This is the finished look. I do like the way it turned out. I don't know how other people feel about pink with like army green, but I really enjoy the two colors. I used, like I have a pair of camo. I don't know if you can see them or not. I'm going to stand up and show my fat belly. I have a pair of camo pants and today I'm wearing them with a green shirt, but a lot of times I wear them with a bright pink shirt. So you just never know. But anyhow, y'all have a great day. Thank you so much for taking the time to hang out with me this afternoon. I hope that you enjoyed the unboxing. And like I said, as soon as my Samantha March collection comes in, we will be coming back and doing that. I love Ofer Cosmetics. And I'm very happy to own another one of their mini mix palettes with another blush. Really excited about it. Um, Y'all have a great day. Like I said, thank you again. Please consider giving this video a thumbs up and subscribing to my channel. Two seconds to do means the world to me. Y'all don't even know. And other than that, y'all have a great day. I think I've said have a great day like four times. It's like when I'm talking to my dad on the phone. You can't get off the phone. You're like, I love you, dad. Talk to you later. Love you, dad. Talk to you later. Love you, dad. Talk to you later. And then after like the 10th time, you actually get off the phone. <laughs> Or maybe that's him talking to me. Y'all, I talk a lot. It could be on his end. I might be the one that keeps us on the phone a while. Anyhow, y'all have a great night. And I will talk to y'all soon. Bye-bye. <laughs> stay warm, stay safe, stay blessed.